a Russian Air Force MIMI-35M helicopter, Russ Air Force capture when Ukrainian forces passed through Russian lines in southern Ukraine in late 2022 and ran to Dnipro River. Russians tried to re-establish valuable attack helicopters. The main helicopter base of the Russian Air Force in Chaplinka, 25 miles south of Dnipro, would soon be good among the Ukrainian drones and rocket laneticists. To protect the rotorcraft, the Russians distributed them to smaller, hidden bases. Now the Ukrainians find these bases and stunning. A handful of well-intentioned missiles may cause the damage to non-resistant helicopters. In spring, U.S. Army fired a few of two-ton, 100-mile-range rockets in Russian helicopter bases in Ukrainian Army Berdyansk and Luhansk. Shortly after receiving approximately 20 old M-39 rockets from shares of U.S. Army, two dozen helicopters. Each M-39 distributes a thousand armament aircraft that can disable any delicate rotorcraft. In order to reduce this risk in South, Russian Air Force rearranged some of Chaplinka-based helicopters in Strilkov, a holiday town, a holiday town near Crimea from Dnipro Front. The analysis group examined Frontal Igigen's InSight Satellite S and found the evidence of 20 helicopters working on a fence-surrounded pad in the beach town. However, the Ukrainian army can access the same S of independent analysts higher accurate military S and other intelligence indicators such as radio crosses than NATO. At the beginning of last month, Ukraine Air Force Suhoi Su-24M armament aircraft was reported to fire at the Storm Shadow Cruise. Missiles in a center in Strilkov. On five months later, he launched explosive drones at Ukraine's intelligence agency base and AP-18 radar air defense. Missile battery and helicopter pad hit. Russian air defenses did not openly prevent non-surprise raids. In spring, Ukrainians carried out an intense operation targeting radars air defense batteries in around Crimea. First confused Russians with American traps then shot them with drone air ground lifted navigation missiles. These attacks claim that two of Russian 5 long-range S-400 batteries in Ukraine have opened gaps in Russian defenses that Ukrainians could use to hit the most valuable goals during Crimea and adjacent challenges. Frontal Igigen's insight increased Ukrainian weapons. Considering the weapons, this model will continue, he said. Perhaps half of Ukraine's deep-shot weapons came from the allies of the country. The United Kingdom Storm Shadow crews donated missiles. The France donated the Scalpeg missiles. All these ammunitions are open from the slow tempo of deep strikes. The close but delayed arrival of first small-scale S initiated with the floor should increase. Ukraine's deep-stroke arsenal. But perhaps briefly. And recently or maybe don't expect a big plus from the Americans. This week, pro-Russian Republicans at the U.S. Congress voted White House's request for spending $60 billion on weapons Ukraine next year.